And all right, right after, oh, turn that microphone on. Uh, Chris, can you go wider with that shot? Hey, we're on. All right, great. Hello, welcome to the pitch. This is our second episode. It is January the thirtieth, and we've just sort of had a producers meeting, as this the structure of this show goes. If you're unfamiliar with this show, we've done one so far and been very successful with it, which we'll go on later and mm -hmm. tell you mm -hmm. all about. Um, but basically, what this, uh, the idea of this show is, is that members of WinCam, we have producers meetings where they talk about different shows that they want to do. And we said, hey, why don't we broadcast the last 30 minutes of those meetings so that um, people in the community who might have something to say about the show we want to make, or for example, let's say you were doing a show about building ships in a glass bottle. Maybe people out there are already excellent at that and they would like to help out. If that's the case, you can just contact WinCam by going to wincam.org or we have a little uh, email address specifically for this show where you can just say, oh, you should come to my house. I have hundreds of ships and bottles that you can just film. Or maybe you say, no, you guys are actually wrong about that. You should do, you know, you should have it be more of a competition or whatever. And uh, basically just so we can get as much feedback as possible from the community. And uh, I'm here, Joe Villion, you would know him from all these shows, Linda Doucette, Margot Atea, usually more a behind the scenes gal in our membership. Yes. Um, so let's just start out with, if you remember on the first episode of The Pitch, one of Linda's ideas was a show called The Diner, mm -hmm. or that was the original idea, or original whatever. Um, and the idea behind that show, you want to tell what the idea? Well, uh, the idea of the, the yeah. idea of the show that I wanted to um, oh a, a two person shoot and with a voice voices in the background that you don't see but you so hear. it's like a conversation show yeah, conversation show that takes place in a diner right so and uh, we actually did it last week yay yes. and was it a fruitful mm. experience it was okay good. <laughs> I don't know, fruit flavor. I think that <laughs> uh, just being here, uh, Linda did exactly how what you're supposed to do. Had it all planned out. We uh, came, she came in the day before. We set up her set so that, because it was kind of complicated, because we had to use a green screen to make Linda look like she was actually in a diner. And uh, I think that despite the hurdle of attempting to do your first show with a five year old girl as your, was, uh, I just never thought you'd get. Yeah. So basically, we ran the camera for like 10 minutes, and then we took a break, and she yeah. did good, and it was kind of losing in that 10 minutes. And then the second take, we did 28 minutes. Wow. Which is just like crazy. And yeah. most of that time, she was concentrating, so, which is really good, because it's, anybody who has children out there knows that getting a five-year-old to stay on topic for, especially with the lights on and everything, is very difficult. Um, I just want to take this opportunity though to thank the staff. Oh, who oh, I love was the staff very down there. Supportive, they got great staff. Very down there. supportive, and I I wouldn't have done it without their encouragement oh. and help. Thank. Well, we never would have done it without your idea. Okay. Um, so, uh, if you're friends with Linda, congratulate her, and also get in touch with her if you want to be on the show. Right. Certainly. Unless you're weird. Uh, <laughs> no, actually, no, we want no, you more if you're weird. Good too. Um, but basically, what do you see it as? We like, or you know, we do a couple episodes yep. a month or whatever. And, and well, at first I thought every week, but then I thought that's a little bit much mm -hmm. because I need a week in between. So I thought every other week or right. twice, twice a month. And um, you know, I thought a lot about it when I got home, and I thought about it the next day, what I could have done mm -hmm. better. And I think um, just trying to, I guess, m one of the items was the opening. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, I should have been doing something else instead of just started talking, you know? Right. So, uh, I'm... But there, anyway, would you say that there's a lot of things that you wouldn't even have thought about having not done it once? Like, oh, doing it yeah. once shows you, like... Oh, yeah. Because yeah. that, that, that's an important note for anybody out there who wants to make a show. It is definitely better if you have your idea and I'm not saying jump into it like no. don't plan it out, but plan it out and, and get going as soon oh, yeah. as you can because yeah, your first show is not going to be perfect and it's not going to be nothing compared to your third show. But each time you get better and you're right. able to see, you know. And I think um, I had um, planned it out, but not. I think I need to plan it a little bit better. And I think uh, I did. I have always been behind the scenes, mm -hmm. 
and being in front of the camera was so totally different. And I have a new respect for <laughs> for your a wonderful show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah well, no, but uh, the yeah. reason we didn't add Joe into that is because his show is like more coherent. Whereas yeah, we but I do. <laughs> it's it's it was tough. It was tough to 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 uh, keep the conversation going and yeah. and. Uh, I think it'll I be mean, even smoother though when you have. It's amazing an adult, how uh, even, you know? maybe a yeah. ten-year-old or. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. yeah, work oh, your way up. We're yeah. moving yeah. right up into the, the adults. <laughs> um, a dog or a cat? Yeah. A dog or a cat? Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, um, I have a guest a who wants to bring their dog. Oh, really? Yeah. So. How would you do that? That's a good idea. Mm. What do you think? Is it's it my mom? No. <laughs> okay. No. Because my dogs can't no. be around food. No. 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 This is a no. Could it sit on the counter? Nope, it's too big. But it will sit on the floor. Or a chair next to the mix. Oh, floor. that would be great if yeah, it's a little it's head. Good, yeah, it's, it's a big head. <laughs> okay, all right. Stay tuned for that one. Yeah, guys. it'll be the that'll diner, be fun. The diner that has a dog. So I do have ideas. Okay. Yes. Yes. She does. That's another thing too. It's it's nice to then after you finish that show, you really kind of like block out some of what you could be doing in the future. Right. Uh, it's like uh, you know alternate guests and stuff like that. Um, and so that went well, and I was very, I was uh, one of the, Tom is not here, but, uh, yeah, just I don't know, he's busy, what is he No, he, he got stuck at work. Uh, he said he's stuck at work, but uh, Tom is normally here, he worked on that show as well, and he's, he's the chef, Leo. And he's really, for a lot of time, if you remember also, like I said, back at the last pitch, you know, he had mentioned wanting to do an improv show, and that's always kind of been Tom's thing, because he's really funny, and he can do a lot yeah, of different voices and stuff. Yeah, he was funny. But the, I... It's very difficult to find a venue for uh, improv because it's so difficult. Yeah. It's so much more difficult than you would expect. Mm -hmm. That like, it's tough to just make a show where you're like, we're just gonna do the improv for 30 minutes or whatever, you know? Uh, and from the example of the wonderful show where we end up just talking about movies and stuff because we have nothing else to say. Whereas, I think that this form of him interjecting comments is really, basically what he's built for because it is it is um it is improv you know right. but it's mm -hmm. still it's within a very nicely yeah. framed show so it can't really derail as much i mean it's very much improv back and forth but but in terms of the conversation but it i think it's good because we found like the exact spot for tom yes to do a voiceover on a show yes. with you yes about cooking yeah. that's like pretty much yeah. <laughs> You know, he was designed for the role. Um, all right, let's move over to, to Joe here. What do you got going on? Well, uh, last pitch, I talked about this Pet Adoptions USA thing I wanted. Yeah. Yes. Which, the idea is to get access stations in heavily, uh, areas where the animals are heavily being destroyed. Mm -hmm. uh, dogs and cats, like Georgia. Okay. So I'm going to, this week I'm going to, uh, is that the red light there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? That's my camera? Yeah. Okay. okay, good. I'm just learning this public access thing. Th <laughs> thank you to the 35 pitch. 35 years, yeah. Something like that. But um, finding the access stations down in Hinesville, Georgia. Then we can talk to the, uh, the people down at Animal Control and talk about the plight because they're not doing this with the access stations. And then mailing a dish down. So we have it up here and, and people realize that we're going from state to state with every episode. Does Georgia have access is the good question. I'm sure they do. Um, and it might not be in Hinesville. It might be in Atlanta. So I'll go, yes, they do have one in Atlanta, which is the main, right. the capital, okay. I think, of Georgia. Because so, I know other states are different. You know, I know Massachusetts is very lucky that lots of towns have access. I know that that's weird. Like, not a lot of states are like that. It's usually like a regional one or something. The show we do here will explain to people that we're going around the country from state to state and that there are these problems, so it will bring an awareness to the dog and cat animal issue. And in some cases, they don't like animals coming up from Hinesville to here, okay? But maybe we can do trades, that someone's looking for a Maine Coon cat and they have it here in Massachusetts, so the cat can be shipped down to Hinesville and another cat comes up here in a trade. And we find homes for two animals that would be on a, on a danger list. Right, and I think that in, if you think that shipping animals sounds crazy, it's not at all. That's actually how a lot of yeah. animals are adopted. And I mean, I had a, yeah, like they picked their dog up at the airport, mm. <laughs> you know, and someone bought it, you know, in Georgia or wherever it was, put it on a plane in the carrier, yeah. and then she 
So, I mean, it, that's not impossible by any means. Uh, the one thing we'd have to stay on top of is, like, a lot of that, uh, the pet stuff is, you know, very timely. So we'd have to find a way, if it were about finding adoptions, it'd have to be released very, you know, very, very rapidly. That's or if it's just about spreading the whole vibe, then that's kind of a different thing. You know? First, we're spreading the vibe, but there's an urgency to it. You're right, and I'm glad you brought that up. The urgency is that tomorrow, a bunch of animals are going to be get killed, and some of them with the heart stick, which I don't even want to talk about. Right. It's very grisly because they just do it cheap. They don't care if the animals are in pain. They get rid of them like they're paper cups. Mm -hmm. It's it's really awful. And once we bring in an awareness out, you know, if a dog or a cat survives euthanasia, they become a story. So you'll see them on the news, and then 15, 20 people want to adopt the cat. Then there's 500 people that want to adopt mm -hmm. it. It's like, why weren't you proactive that every day there's a slaughter going on? Right. Uh, and so if we get the word out and, 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 and people understand, this cute little animal... Picture that it survived, survived euthanasia, and everyone should jump on it and, and adopt. We can get more adoptions going, and I think pet companies might underwrite getting the discs down to the different stations or maybe be a little proactive and sponsor the stations so that we have something going because it, it's in their best interest if people adopt because then more people will be buying food. Right. So okay, that's I the angle I'm so going like at. Pet, like pet food companies could have, or stores like Petco, let's say, yes, would have some sort of benefit. Yeah, and it could be probably potentially some sort of write-off for them too. Cause they, I know that Petco does not sell dogs. I don't believe anymore. They only they sell dogs through adoption agencies. Mm -hmm. I don't think that they have. Have I them might be there. Wrong about that. They do do training at. They do training at right. the Petcos. Of the I, dogs. I, I think that they are they are a little bit more progressive in terms. It's not like that the store at the mall that it's like a jail for dogs. Yeah, yeah, that's that's no good. That's awful. Those are, uh, those are, yeah. Well, because some of the puppy mill dogs get euthanized yeah. Yeah. if they're not sold. Well, they're not brought up very well. Right, right, that's a whole. So other then you thing. get them and they're weird. <laughs> you know, like they're not well, they're, they're not sociable. Yeah. You know, or they're not they're or, or yeah, they're yeah. sick. Yeah. Or they, or they don't know the, why we had a dog basically didn't know the difference between inside and out because it had been can, in a kennel all its life and it was almost impossible to toilet train the dog. Mm. No, not toilet. It was amazing. The dog was, was using the toilet and everything. <laughs> no, but uh, no, a cat that could do that. <laughs> well, not just in a movie. Did you see that in real life? I've heard about this. Yeah. Do any of your cats use the toilet? No. 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 <laughs> One no. patty looks in the mirror. That's cool. He's like, a, wants to be a star, I guess. He's just handsome little patty looks in the mirror. But Does it think it's another cat or is it combing its hair and stuff? <laughs> no, he just hey. really likes to jump up. Irish patty. I thought they named it a girl, but it's like a guy, Irish patty. We got him from Kitty yeah, Connection. Yeah. And, um, and he likes coming in the bathroom and jumping on the sink and looking in the mirror. Looking he just low. looks in the mirror. <laughs> Mine says hello. My cat. Your cat can say hello? My cat doesn't just go, no. no, it goes, hello. You got to take that. <laughs> I, do. I, I, have, be I actually have it on tape. Okay. Yeah, actually, I've seen this. Why? Do you, why is this not a YouTube video? Yeah, yeah. Cat famous. Yeah. It Million says hello. Hits. Million well, hits. Easy. I think there are other cats that say hello too. <laughs> nope, just yours. <laughs> YouTube. That's a good idea because these things, for a timely matter, to get them right up because the um, the death rate is like within three days they die. Right. So maybe there could be a component of it. So we do for like pictures. Um, yeah, we we could yeah. do like what I was saying is like. like all right, yeah, that's one way you can do it. You do weekly with, like, at the end of each show, you bring up 10 dogs or whatever. You yeah. know, this is Roxy. Here's yeah. just the information about well, getting Good contact. Morning America does that. And I, they bring Something up the with. dogs to, to, for adoption. And, and then really what, they're and they're probably, like, and it works. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, because that reaches so yeah. many people. I think that so if they would that, call here? Well, the thing would be, yeah, yeah, no, that would, see, that's so the thing. So how do you want to, yeah. I've set up two websites, Pet Adoptions USA and Pet Adoption USA. Because the late Moogie Klingman did us a PSA, so that'll be on first. And then Harriet Shock did one. One said pet adoption, one said pet adoptions. We can always edit out the S right yeah. on one of them. Yeah. And make them both. An S to the other. But Pet Adoptions USA is not a, 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 what it does is it links people up with the kennels and with the uh, rescue organizations. Mm -hmm. So it's not a rec rescue organization. It's just a TV show. Yeah. Pet Adoptions USA it's just a TV show, and we hook you up with right. Animal Control in Hinesville, Georgia, or um, the one up in Linfield, I guess, is a animal shelter, mm -hmm. North Shore Animal Rescue. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, I think that in what would be a good component to it would be some sort of just blog website, too, so that 
you could keep. Yes. So if you weren't doing it like every week, if you were doing it monthly, let's say, then you could keep up the blog and say, oh, well, this dog's still available and this and this. I mean, I think you should have that anyway just because the, to keep it the most up to date, we would be definitely suggesting websites or something, you know, stuff where you can get like Pet Finder or whatever, or something that, you know. Hmm. And it's real, it's real important that people get vetted so that we know that they're not, pit bulls aren't being taken so that they can be uh, put into um, fights or something. Fights, right. People have to be vetted to know that they're a good family, good home, and that the animal is going to be taken care of. Yeah, I think that that's kind of a big concern, too. Like, it's tough. You can't just, like, go get, I mean, you can just go get a dog from a pet store, but you can't just go adopt a dog. You usually have to have yeah. paperwork of where you live and proof yeah. from your landlord that you can have pets if you don't own the place and right. all sorts of stuff like that. Because definitely, which is a, probably a good thing. <laughs> you know? It is. But, you know, we spent, like, 70 to 100 bucks on little kitty uh, things at the pet stores are actually on sale, but like they're all around the house and the cats love them. They, they're little kitty beds, round, and, and then they, they kind of grab them and it's like, this is mine, this is mine. It was like, that was our Christmas thing. They, they all got these new, and they love them. How many cats do you have, Joe? How many we have five. And they're all saved? They're oh all yeah, they're all, res back. all rescued. See, that's what's nice is, is that, well, yeah. it's and a good. they die, you're like, well, I gave them so much life. They got to live all that extra time. Well, here's That's something. What I always felt when we get we get weird, broken, used dogs. Another minute, so that we can get, keep moving on. Yes. But um, TLC cats are the ones that we have because uh, the Kitty Connection knew that Jeff and I know how to take care of them. What's TLC? TLC is ten eleven care. They're kind of skittish. People won't adopt them as cute as they are because they're not. They don't jump on you and hug you. Yeah, they're not the most. They run. Which cat does that. <laughs> Well, no, we, I had a tiger, a God no, rest his soul, I loved him. There, it, is, it is. Uh, but people want cute little cuddly cats. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. these TLCs, um, for whatever reason, people wouldn't adopt them. They were kind of run in the corner, yeah. and they weren't yeah. friendly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Jeff comes into the room, and I'm watching. He comes into the living room the other night, and I get Susie on my lap. She's been with us three years. He goes, my God, you know, she would run and run and run. She's on your lap purring. And he just thought, what a yeah. turnaround. Because we know them, we give them the time, we give them the space. They have to feel safe. Yeah. yeah. But it's funny, the Kitty Connection gave us the TLCs because no one would take them. So I said, okay, if they don't get adopted, we'll take them. As much as I want to take them right away, <laughs> I gave them the shot to get adopted. They didn't. They came to us. It's their home. So this is the, the nuances of it that people don't understand. You just can't adopt a cat because you don't want it returned the next week. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Of course. You have to yeah. be in sync with it. Margot's cat, you know, this one's claiming you. This one's claiming Linda. Mm. You know how your cat's claimed you, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> they own you now. I, uh, We're going to get have one. a couple of dogs to own Joe. Eventually. Yeah. Um, that will happen <laughs> when my landlord allows pets. You better believe it. All right, Margot, let's just uh, oh. go into yours. We'll come back around yeah, to all Margo, of these. Let's I see what of, you think about well, I have kind of wild kind of ideas, and I. You're in the right place. Okay. And, and there are things that I can't do alone. So That's the point of the pitch. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So I was looking at, I was looking at some college sites and um, they, uh, like BU and some other colleges, uh, and they do a thing called Lip Dub. Lip Dub. Yes. Okay. And so it's, they pick a song and... Give me an example of a song. Well. Thriller. Uh, <laughs> <gasps> Usually right. it's one of, you know, um, what's, um, what's a popular song kids listen to? Uh, how much is that doggy in the window? No. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Something by La Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Yeah, yeah. Lady Gaga. Yeah. yeah. That's there what I'm go. thinking. Okay. Just or, um, and, uh, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. And so they, you know, you yeah. lip sync and basically it's, what do you call that? A, a steady cam shot? It's one long shot? But not always. Not Some always. of them aren't. Okay. But it appears so. And so... Um, it in, like for the college, what they do is um, they go through the whole college and the doors are open and it's nice smooth and then these people are singing and then it's off to another one. It's like a singing. musical basically. It's a music video. Yeah. And it's really cool and it, you know, um, usually it might be a hundred, hundred people or wow. more in it. And I was thinking that would be really cool for Winchester to do one of these and to have people go into perhaps stores or mm -hmm. the town hall and 
and show and just have fun and show how fun Winchester is and short sort of show. I like it. It's like a flash mob. Yeah, you know what in a flash a way, mob yeah. is, in but it's like that, but it's, it's organized. organized. <laughs> Usually, what they told yeah, me is yeah. this takes a lot of organization and well, you know yeah. and to have you know people volunteer who uh, know some moves. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, because um, everybody is everybody in unison. Yeah. Not everybody's in unison, right? But they're in different parts of this. They're in different parts, and so you have, you know, your lip singing, and you have to, you know, have some moves, you know, and then it goes off to somebody else, and we could go through, you know, different parts of the town. It doesn't have to be a. And the selectmen can be singing. This, yeah, everyone is included. Sweet Caroline. You know, the school um, committee, everybody. Yes. You know, the all whole. ages. Yeah, and they can all do that thing. Oh, or they yeah. all do well, that they all can do different things, and you know, it could be in different parts of the town. One issue. What? Copywritten song. We'd have to use a song that. But how do they get away with it? Hmm. Who's they on Everybody, college TV? I mean, from hmm. Well, the thing is, look up Liptub, and you can Lip see they're Dub, doing okay. it in Germany and. All and right, so I wonder. Oh well, yeah. But it, you can yeah, do it and just toss it on. Well, you know, it, it, there's such a gray area with access because. Oh, we. Okay. Well, there's a gray area pretty much with a lot of and it, this. There's new legislation going through all the time oh, on the I internet know, and stuff. Well, could we do a little research and find out how some of yeah. these people are doing it? Yeah, se okay. just send an email yeah. to one of those people yeah. and say. Could you just yeah, or, or, or is it cool because you're just tossing it on YouTube? Yeah. Well, here's what you can do. A lot of stations, like Simmons College, okay. Okay, they have a form that musicians fill out and say, I grant you the usage That's of my really song really without going to BMI, ASCAP, or CSAC. Okay. So you, there are a lot of people who will give you the rights. Why take chances? Be safe. Ask them. Hmm? Ask them if you can yeah. use that song. Yeah. No, no. This we have a ton of CDs up there. You can just contact any of the bands from Music Closet. It will say yes. Yeah. Any of the bands from my show, including some of the famous people, yeah. will probably say yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So you yeah. know, that's definitely that's, that's definitely not. That's a good idea. But the and the other thing though is if if you want if you need and like a absolutely need like a known song. I mean, see the issue is is that we never we don't profit. You know, right. so it's kind of like if somebody were playing a Bob Dylan song on a guitar and they were like, this song is Bob, like, we would never, I mean, mm. technically it might be illegal, but it's something that no one would ever get, nobody in the history of Access has ever gotten in trouble for something mm. like that. If I came in, I said, I'm going to play three songs that are by Bob Dylan. He wrote them. And then I play them. Technically illegal, but it's like. Who would ever come down on you for that? No, that's not how we play. Obviously, no, we play it really safe. But, like, I mean... We play it really safe, but other stations, I won't name them, they say that if you play someone else's tune, it's the gray area, we let it slide. Yeah. So it's always safe to... What this does is it teaches access people about the law. Right. And yeah. that they should abide by the law. And you know what? If you want to use a Lady Gaga song or a Madonna song, write to the publisher like normal people and get a release. Yeah. And you can. Yeah. Right. And, and I can help people right. attempt that, but they always yeah. have the chance to say no. Well, one question is, you know, that in particular is um, what song, one is if people are interested. <laughs> because we need everyone from- That's why I feel like the song would have to be popular. And two, yeah. Just because and it would two, get people interested. And then two, um, what song would it be? Maybe we would have a vote about which. We'll have like a number of songs. Mm -hmm. People can vote which song would be the best song for the town. I mean, it's just a fun thing. It doesn't yeah. have to be the song for the <laughs> it. It's this just a fun thing that we did. I mean, we might start something that all the towns are going to start doing. No. Yeah, no, that I think it's a really great idea. I think it's a good idea. idea. Because it's, it is, it has, that yeah. flash, it has that flash mob mentality. Yeah. And it's fun, and you don't have to sing. You're you know, lip syncing. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not actually. You have to dance a little And, you know, in these things, sometimes people dress up like... Depending, it, and it, sometimes it has nothing to do with the song. So they get dressed up yeah, with a giant elaborate. banana or whatever. I like uh, the color scheme, the red and the blue. It's yeah, good. Yeah, it looks really good. They're, that camera is incredibly <laughs> saturated. Um, is there anybody in the control room anymore? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. hands. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> hey, so everything's going well. Kevin Russo on controls just anyway. Yes. Well, I, you know, I like um, what you could do too is play it up as a big Hollywood production. And then if you have unknown songs, you know, if Peter Kahlo who's Kali Simon's music director, said you can use Wired to the Moon. Well, he's a name yeah. not known, 
but you play it up as a Hollywood production. Hey, you know, we've got this great song. Be part of TV and yeah, have fun with that's us. That's the angle you play if you get a song like that. That's right. That's a good idea. And maybe, you know, Kali season says, you can let them use Yosso Vane. Oh, and that would be fun too. <laughs> that, would, that would be a good Winchester yeah. song. And, and the other aspect is to show also the businesses. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the Chamber of Commerce could be part of this, and you know, people can whoever hey. wants to be part of the video can be be in it. I think it's an awesome idea. I do too. A lot of coordination, but I yeah, think the end result would be something that everybody in town would be like, "Did you see that thing that Winchester made?" You know. Yeah. Isn't uh, there must be public domain songs that are popular today, beyond Oh Susanna, uh, right? There's got to be something in the public they're domain. They're all probably like racist though, or something. Beyond Happy Birthday. <laughs> Happy Birthday is no. Okay. Nobody owns the rights to that. Okay. All right. So. I think so. All right. So I'm, that I stand corrected. Too bad no classical music has lyrics. That we no, can sing. no, there was. You could do know, like an aria. Or something. What was it? It was uh, there was one college, and I think they had a. They, it was for classical music or something, and they didn't do a video. They played music through and did it that way. And yes, did, and that was pretty good. They did jazz. They did classical. They did all kinds of stuff. I saw so one where. Or, no, no, I saw one where opera singers basically went to an open air market. And set themselves up in all different locations, and then slowly. Went hey, put the camera on Joe. <laughs> slowly, when the when <laughs> slowly when the song, you know, someone started singing, everyone's like, "Who is that crazy woman singing to herself?" And then somebody over there is like, "Oh!" And then and then it, it was great, and they have a, a whole bunch of people with little cameras, and uh, to capture it, and that that's definitely how we would do that. We have a bunch of different people with. Hmm. Like a bunch of our, because it doesn't matter. You just stick them everywhere because you get it. Because if you have like big set, I mean, well, this one is un unlike a flash. You could mom. do. A, I mean, It'd what be I more. did. What no, I, yeah, no, I mean, but what I liked about it was that it made you put move. the camera on middle. <laughs> it made you Don't move, worry about it. <laughs> move with the camera, and you just went. Yeah, it was sort of really kind of cool. And did it pull back? Sometimes near the end, it pulled back. It got everyone together, and they sang the ending of the song. That was really cool. So That's great. Everybody, so yeah, they were of really course. high up. So imagine if we got everybody to go through town and they ended up in the bleachers on Manchester Field yeah. or something. Or in town hall where you could have the cameras up like I did for that boxing event. Oh, you yeah. Get nice shots. Come in into the stage in the town hall. That's and turning thing. around like, you know, it's so like go through Manchester Field too. And then they end up in town hall where we get those beautiful camera angles from the top. Yeah, that actually, that, those like shots are really nice. different yeah. spots. I like the idea they, of going yeah. different all, like And it was inside businesses. buildings yeah. and right. outside. Yeah. You know. All right, let's just, okay. all right, so people That's who are good. interested, Lip Dub, which like you, look it up yes. on YouTube. I just looked it up. It's pretty <laughs> Come cool. up with some new ideas for that or more or just being we interested. We could call it Wind Dub. Wind Dub. <laughs> we could call it Wind Lip. Lip. Or Lip Chester. <laughs> <laughs> How about, or dub Chester. The wind cam dub sessions. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so anybody get in contact, and you can just say inattention to Margot or, or dub or Chester. Lip dub. <laughs> lip dub. Or lip dub or anything. We'll know what you're talking about. Linda, your show, Eat Pie Diner. Yes. Filming again Monday. Um, Who's your guest? Next. Next. Next is Next Monday. Well, not today. No, next Monday. Okay, next Monday. Who, who's okay. your guest? Do, do you uh, know? Well, not yet. Okay. I have. Oh, well, yeah. Actually, I do have a guest. Oh well. <laughs> is it the Michelle dog? Obama? Oh, it's your mother. Yeah, but I thought she bailed. No, that was this. She bailed on this uh -huh. today. Okay, so you have a terrible guest. We're not going to do them. Are we going to do Monday or Tuesday? Did we, when did we do it last Tuesday. time? Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. Sorry, guys. Tuesday. All right, we have a minute left. Joe, let's see. What can we? What can we say about your show? Anything happening here next Monday? Uh, if that show's not happening, then uh, maybe we could do, we could launch Pet Adoptions USA next Monday. Okay, get you. So what we can do next Monday, set up by then. You know, we have basically. I would say if you can have thirty minutes worth of, you know, something to talk about. And oh yeah. Figure out because I mean I think that you know the first show we can just basically be talking about it and then introduce people to those websites and stuff like that. Whether we have actual. Pictures might be nice, but um, I might bring Kitty Connection here. Someone from Kitty Connection to that start would be it off. Perfect. That would yeah, be perfect. she's down the street, so okay. So that's that would be great. So look forward to that. That's coming up at we'll, seven o'clock. Yeah, it'll probably be like seven o'clock. So uh, there'll be more stuff on that on the WinCam website at wincam.org. You have uh, we have about fifteen seconds, so I will.
See, that's so unprofessional. I should just go out of the show and not mention that we have 15 seconds. But thank you. You're watching The Pitch. I'm here with Margot Atea, Linda Doucette, and Joe Villion. We'll see you next week. Stay tuned.